appearance traits. Next is provision of common nouns and their applications. We can say code of conduct. Provision of common nouns. Here we can take it as code of conduct or social rules and regulation. Social rules and regulation. Noticing that? How about we studied in your earlier class, in class 8? Society needs what? Rules and regulations for the smooth running and the smooth development of that place. Still you have studied. I know that you have studied. Yep. So every society, every society need some certain types of rules and regulations. Codes of conduct is very much necessary. Some certain types of norms and values are very much necessary for the smooth running and development of society. Without that, without norms and values, without social rules, without code of conduct, society can't be developed, society can't be ideal. Society can't be ideal. You can take the example. If your school, if your class lacks rules and regulations, what will be the situation in your class? You can observe that. There won't be any difference between different market and your class. There will be the scenario of too much noisy, too much drunk drone. Yeah. For the smooth performance, performance in your class, what does your class need? Your class need some certain set of rules and regulation. In the same way, provision of common nouns, I mean to say, set of rules and regulation is very much necessary to each and every society. Not only the rules and regulation is necessary, but it, its implementation is necessary. Yeah, rules are too much rules are in our society. Matter is this that is it being implemented or not? Is it being practiced in our day to day life or not? Till you are not practicing the rules and regulation, the society will not be developed. There won't be the value of that rules and regulation for providing respect, for providing the value, for providing the uh, yeah, proper respect that rules and regulation we should we must practice that rules and regulation that norms and values in our day to day life where in our day to day life if you, we really want the development of that place hope you guys understood so this is the provision of common norms and their application means their implementation their practice in our day-to-day -day life. Dear friends, next is a specific name. Without a name, there is no friend. Yeah, so, when you meet any person, at first question, you ask to them, what's that? Hey, mister, hey, miss, what's your name? In the same way. When we travel to any other person, a place, they ask us that, not name, not our name. Yes, here they ask our name, but they also ask, where are you from? We have to give the name of our place. The name of our place. It means that every society carries its specific name, its particular name, some certain types of name and with the help of that name it is identified throughout the world if it is, it has done the great work then. If the member of that society is conscious, cultured, good ideal, then it can raise its name and fame throughout the world and it will be known in the world through its specific name. So, it is also one of the elements of society. Hope you got it. Hope you guys understood it. Dear students, next is variable size of the population of society. Population of society. Students, 
I can't say that. And I think that nobody can say the population of any place. Hope you guys what is population. Hope you guys know that what is population. You better know is the total number of people, total number of people residing at a particular place at a particular time. Yeah? Sure. So nobody can say that population of any place it remains constant. It remains constant is not said by anybody. Even I can't say that the population of any place, of even population of our society remains constant. It can be changed. It can be changed due to the BDM factor, birth date and migration. Due to birth date and migration. But whatever the members of that boundary, that specific boundary is, that is the population of that society. And there should be the feeling of love and respect. There should be the feeling of love and respect to each and every member of that place, of that society. There should be the feeling of sympathy and empathy. That is the ideal member or ideal population of society. So it is also one of the elements of society. So dear students, these are the elements of all the components of society. These are the components of society. Now the term is, if these are the term, uh, yeah, elements of society, why we lack good society? How can we our society be good? And what is good society? What is good society? So good society means life with dignity. Such society, such place, such a specific boundary where the life of the members of that boundary is respectful with dignity with the value means good society it means good society is termed as such society or such society where the members of the society is living their life with dignity with respect with what? with respect is good society. Not only that, but also there is a feels, the feels, they must feel proud of being its member. If there is a feeling, if there is the feeling of being proud of being its member, of being its member means what? Being whose member? Of being a being member of such society. If there is a feeling of being proud by being the member any society, such society is good society. Such society is good society. Next, if any society is helping, if any society is helping its member to raise their name and fame, if that society is providing their recognition, recognition, their identity, that society is good society. I am mean, repeating it once again. If any society is providing, is helping its member to raise name and fame to earn what its identity, his or her identity by residing in such area, that area is good society. That area is good society. Next is if that place, if any geographical area, if any uh, particular area, if any certain area is providing an opportunity, it's if, if that area is providing an opportunity for the development of personality, for the development of personality of the member of that society, that society is termed as good society. That society is termed as good society. So, in order to say any society, the good society, 
What should be necessary? There should be the life of the member of the society should be with dignity. They should feel proud of being its member. They should get the recognition uh, from that place. And there should be an opportunity for the development of their personality in, inside that area, inside that boundary. Then only the society can be good society. If you have to make definition of good society, how can it be? Good society is a place where members live their life with dignity, feel proud of being its member, gets the recognition, and if there is an opportunity for the development of personality for the member of that place, is good society. That is good society. Hope you guys understood. If you want to copy, then please copy.